In this lesson, we will examine the regulations pertaining to the carriage of first aid oxygen, and we will look at the equipment fitted to aeroplanes to comply with these regulations. First aid oxygen is for use by passengers who may require oxygen following a depressurization. Even though the aeroplane has descended to a pressure altitude where normal breathing should be possible, this oxygen is not carried for use by passengers with pathological respiratory problems. For such passengers, extra oxygen must be carried. All pressurized aeroplanes which operate above 25,000 feet and which carry a cabin crew member must have first aid oxygen available. There must be sufficient first aid oxygen to supply 2% of the actual number of passengers carried for the remainder of a flight following cabin pressurization failure, while the cabin altitude is between 8,000 and 15,000 feet. The first aid oxygen equipment must be capable of generating a flow rate of 4 litres per minute to each user. However, the equipment may have a means of reducing the flow rate to not less than 2 litres per minute. First aid oxygen is normally stored in portable cylinders. The cylinders are installed at suitable locations in the passenger cabin. Masks are stowed adjacent to the cylinders. The cylinders normally contain 120 litres of oxygen at a pressure of 1800 psi and are fitted with a carrying strap. A regulator is fitted to the top of the cylinder. It has an on-off control knob, a pressure gauge and in our examples shown here two outlets marked high and low. The high outlet provides 4 litres of oxygen per minute to the user and low 2 litres per minute. At a rate of 2 litres of oxygen per minute, a 120 litre cylinder would last 60 minutes. This reduces to 30 minutes at 4 litres per minute. Larger cylinders with more than one outlet for multiple supplies are also sometimes used. Remember that first aid oxygen is for use by passengers who may require oxygen following a depressurization. It is not carried for use by passengers with pathological respiratory problems. The only other important points to be taken from this lesson are the regulations about first aid oxygen, which must be memorized. They are summarized on the screen.